Hi there. I'm going to go all new agey on you today. I was thinking it's been a while since I've done a video and a lot has happened since the last time I posted. So first and foremost, I'm going to try and be a little bit more consistent about getting my thoughts and information up here uh, for you to listen to and use and apply to your life. But there's been a lot of good things that have happened since the last time um, I was able to post a video. And one of those things is the topic of this video. So I was thinking back to uh, coaching people and having them tap into their vision and their dreams for making things happen. A big part of being an integrative health coach is having people dig deep down and try to figure out what is it that they really want in their own lives? What do they want to realize? And then one of the things that we commonly stumble upon is some people don't have any vision. They cannot for the life of them think of anything that they want in their life. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you're sitting here talking to a health coach, so obviously you've made a decision about something. You're looking to make a change in your life. I don't know whether that's gonna be your weight. I don't know if that's going to be your job, your purpose in life, but you're here. So let's talk about it. And one of the tools I use in my health coaching program is something that's been around for a long time. And my husband would call it one of those new agey things. And it is vision boarding. So I created a vision board many, many years ago, and I put the things on that vision board that I wanted in my life. So at the time I was single and I had just purchased a home and I was deep into my career, but some of the things I wanted were to get married, to have a child. At the time I was wanting a new car. So I put some things on my vision board that related to all of those. I put messages on my vision board that related to having a healthy and happy marriage and having um, a child going on vacation. At the time, I was wanting a Nissan Maxima. And what I find interesting about that is I just put positive messages on that board and I moved into my house in April. Four months later, I met the man that I would later marry and I had a picture on the board of a woman holding an infant son and Two years later, we had a son. My husband's car died, so he needed to get uh, a new car. He got a Nissan Altima. And I thought to myself, this is just really freaky because all of the things I had on this board have happened. And the only thing I did was tack them up there and look at it every day. And one of the other things I would put on there were pictures of Caribbean islands. You know, I wanted to take a trip. And my husband and I were together for about six months and we had gone to the Dominican Republic. All of these things that had happened. And you can call it manifesting, you can call it goal setting, you can call it vision boarding. What I call it is being very clear about the things that I wanted in my life. And I may not have had a plan for how I was going to achieve all of these things, but I did create a visual representation of these things and I put this board in a place where I would see it every day. And whether I was actively looking at that board and actively thinking about what was on it, I was absorbing it every day with every fiber of my being. And many, many years went by, there were things that went on the board, there were things that went off the board, and then we moved and I didn't put the board up. Well, that's a lie. I put the board back up, but it was all business related things. I put calendars up there. I put checklists up there. I put contact lists up there. I noticed that I had gotten away from putting things up there that were related to me and what I wanted. And then when I made that shift, when I was starting to feel like it was time for a transition in my life and maybe it was time to leave the corporate world and do something different, I noticed that the things that I was seeing every day that were resonating with me, I was pulling them out, cutting them out, putting them up on this vision board that I had. And so the board began to, began to grow and grow and grow. And I was putting things on there like, 
statements and comments, things that I wanted to do, and I wasn't even really sure what that was. It turns out that I wanted to transition out of the corporate world into being a holistic health coach. And then about a year ago, my son asked me, mom, will you color with me? Now he hasn't wanted to color in a long time. And so I said to myself, you know what? These days are getting few and far between. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna color with this kid. And I said, what should I draw? He said, you can draw anything you want. And so one of the things that I drew was, oh, call me lack of imagination, I drew my desk. But I drew my desk, and I have a picture of it here. I drew my desk with my vision board in the corner, some of the things that were on my desk, and I had my computer. And on my computer, it says, better for you, better for all, committed change, health and wellness, online course. And I am sitting here today and telling you that I am proud to announce that I have two online courses that are now completed. I have two more that are in progress. I have six more that are planned behind that. What I did with this picture after I sat down and drew it with my son was I tacked it up on my vision board. So I had a picture that had my vision board on it, on my vision board. Okay, that's not weird. But I looked at it every day. And there were times that I was too tired to work on the course. There were times when I had no concept of what this course was going to be or what it was gonna look like or how it was gonna turn out. But then as my energy, as my focus, as my clarity shifted, I got busy working on that course. Now there are two up and they are out in cyberspace. And I am so proud of myself. And you know what? I still have my vision board. I'll let you see it. My lovely vision board is here every day and I try to give it more attention now. I try to pay better attention to the things that are on my vision board because I know when I am putting my focus and my purpose on what's on that board, it's going to happen. And there is a statement that I posted last week, energy goes where attention flows. And I want my attention flowing to all of the fantastic things that are on that board because I would like to achieve those things in my life. So hopefully you have enjoyed this little trip with me down the new agey path. If you have a vision board yourself, I would love to hear what some of your goals are, what are some of your visions and your inspirations and what you want to achieve. And if you don't have a vision board, you know, it doesn't have to be a physical board like mine. It can be a scrapbook. It can be a notebook. It can just be the actual wall, the wall itself. Tack things up. And this can be pictures of places, people, things, quotes. Just make sure that it's coming from your heart. And you will soon find that the things that are coming from your heart and are tacked to your walls will become true in your life. So... I'm glad you were able to stop by and visit me today. I will try not to take quite so long before getting another video up. My name is Courtney Capice. I'm an integrative nutrition health and wellness coach. I work with parents and caregivers to make sure that they are giving themselves the best level of self-care because you have to be better for you and better for all. So until the next video, take care and be well.